so the first hole that we will punch is the uh, Sam Brown hole and this can be punched out with a specialized tool as shown here these are quite expensive and, and only you really need one if you're going to be doing a lot of Sam Brown holes like I do uh, alternatively you can just buy a simple punch that is the right size for the hole that's on the leather and then punch the hole through and then use your knife to cut along the line and you will do exactly the same job however today I'm going to use the punch as shown and rather than actually damage this board which is relatively new what I'm going to use is a sacrificial board that uh, as you can see is well used and has been broken so I'd rather damage that than a new board so I just simply place the cutter on and as we can see it leaves a nice clean hole that the Sam Brown stud head can pop through and hold the flap closed securely so I continue with the punching and when I finish I'll come back and show you the next step Okay, so we finished punching the holes in the leather. Uh, the, just to point out that the holes themselves are two millimeter diameter. So the next step we'll do is to actually cut the pattern out. out wherever we've got good shot like uh, good straight lines it's always best to use a ruler
Okay, so now that we've cut it out, what we need to do is edge the leather, uh, taking off the sharp corners all the way around the leather, uh, which will make the, uh, the final appearance look a lot more professional. So what I like to do is I don't always start at a corner because once we've gone all the way around and come up to this corner again, what we'll find is that probably a little tab will hang off which can be a little bit frustrating so what I tend to do is instead of starting at the corner I'll start a little bit down from the edge see uh, that would have a little bit hangs off and if we'd have started at the edge of that, that would still be there so you'd have to pull it off so then you finish it and it's gone so on the inside we do the top edge and we don't do this bit here we go from where the cutout would be to there and then start from this last hole and finish up at this hole this piece again don't start here start a little bit way down Sometimes the leather starts to starts to kind of pucker up in front of the cutting edge like that. So if that does happen, you can always put down a ruler to support the edge, and then you've got a much sturdier line to cut down. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll put the sand brown in place. Now, uh, what I like to do is uh, have a, a scrap piece of leather, which is a little disc of leather, and that will just fit on the back here once we've put the, the thread or the screw in place, and it will be glued over the screw so that uh, will protect the uh, zipper lighter when we are putting it in and pulling it out of the case so the first thing that I tend to do is just use a, um, a, a some way to mark a hole uh, mark the circle around and that tells me where my glue line will be for the the disc once we come to glue it into place the uh, little hole that we made which was uh, two millimeters on this side is the right size for the thread on the Sam Brown however sometimes it's a little bit difficult to actually get it through the hole uh, as you can see like that so what we tend to do is just slightly stretch the hole so that the thread will go through 
now it's gone through really easily now this is lock tight it's uh, used to lock threads into place because what you don't want to happen over time is for this Sam Brown to uh, become un unthreaded and fall off then you won't be able to close the patch so what I tend to do is use a bit of Loctite uh, you can use um, a little bit of uh, PVA or, or uh, some glue such as that and put a little bit in the, the thread and um, then screw it on like that. Now in order to tighten it, what I use is a pair of pliers that has the little round hole bit in there for cutting wire. But that's just a great fit to fit around the ball and hold it in place whilst it is screwed in so it won't spin round. Now be very careful you don't strip the thread so you tighten it sufficiently that it will be very difficult for it to come undone and uh, then very very almost impossible for it to come down once we've put the the lock tight in place. So that is now in place and when the patch is finished it will simply pop through the the hole like that and it will hold it in place so like I say we'll put a little bit of glue and this is a strong contact adhesive and I've already made my little hole uh, circle there so I just follow that and put the glue around the circle you don't have to do this um, but I do it because it protects the the Zippo lighter now this glue is very very thick uh, really I should thin it down but just for this I won't um, if you get some on your table best to rub it off whilst it's still wet and now what we do is we will just let that uh, dry off if we remove excess glue it will dry off that much faster but it's sticky so what I'll do is uh, I will just put that over there and lock it into place so now that's all secure and this will stop any scratches that might happen when you put your zipper lighter in and out